Today's video is a little bit melancholy. This is a couple of bridges, dental implant bridges that I will never get to finish. Well, technically I can finish them, but I'll never deliver them to the patient. So this is a case that I started way back before COVID happened, before the pandemic. Person was missing his their lower back teeth just had the front six teeth from canine to canine. So we decided to uh, want to be able to eat. I want to be able to chew. Did a couple implants for him on his upper teeth. Can't really tell from the model here, but he wanted to have replace his missing back teeth so that we could, so he could have teeth to chew with. So what I did was we placed two implants on either side in the posterior behind his canines. Basically, we're replacing two teeth, you know, two implants, and we're going to put two, three tooth bridges on both sides. So he's missing from his canine back on both sides. Now he's going to go from, he's going to have his first premolar, second premolar, and his first molar on both sides. So he's going to have a lot of, a lot of chewing area. So placed four implants and had the lab made these four custom implant posts to fit the Bicon implants. You can see these two here and these two right here. And so we all they also sent me back the Trinia framework. So this is the material that the framework that the bridge is actually going to be made out of. Trinia is a type of it's almost like a fiberglass type of material. Very tough, very strong, a little bit of give to it, but it can be used uh, for a three tooth bridge. It could actually be used for a full arch bridge if you wanted to. So they made me the frameworks that will go, you know, fit on either side. And they sent me back just the framework for a framework try-in to make sure the posts fit, make sure everything fits, and that we could do a bite registration since because the patient only had his upper front teeth, they wanted to make sure that they put the model, you know, attach the models in the correct orientation. So they wanted to double check that so that when they layered this with the material that they used to look, cover this, uh, it's, it's a polycrystalline uh, resin called Ceramage, which looks very much like tooth structure. They'll cover this, the Trini completely up with that and you won't see the Trini at all. It'll just be the Ceramage. But they wanted to make sure they're everything they could mount the models in the proper orientation. Unfortunately, uh, everything was going well. We got the models back, and then all of a sudden, the pandemic happened, and my office was closed for three months. Uh, and then even after we the state let us reopen, a patient was older gentleman had some health issues. He was a bit concerned about coming in until he was vaccinated so he decided to wait and we waited and you know we we're at this point and i figured all right not much is going to change anything that does change uh, the lab's going to be able to adjust when they place the ceramage unfortunately since that happened and you know, we got vaccinated now uh, i and all my office staff got vaccinated patient actually got vaccinated but he ended up having some other issues, some other health issues. He ended up going in for some back surgeries, a couple of back surgeries. Unfortunately, not successful. And before we can get him back in, he ended up passing away. And so uh, now I have these two implant bridges with custom posts that I have to show people. I might I'm not sure. Maybe I'll build them up. I have some ceramage at the office. Maybe I can build them up just to give people an idea what they look like. But this is one of those sad things that prior to the pandemic, this didn't happen that frequently every now and then, but not very often. But due to the pandemic, I've gotten a couple situations where the patients pass away mid-treatment or close to the end of treatment. Actually, close to the end of all three of them were very close to the end of the treatment. And it's just very sad that this sort of stuff happens. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll show you the other two cases that I have. One's going to be a lower immediate denture. We were at the wax try-in stage. And another one was a 
just a full contour uh, zirconia crown uh, took the molds had it all ready to be cemented and the patient passed away so these things happen unfortunately unfortunately it seems it happens more so nowadays with everything that's going on thank you guys so much for watching any questions or comments please leave them below appreciate it very much thank you